Hello students, in this video we are going to study about divisibility test. But before I would like to tell you that at the end of the video I have kept a question. And you have to keep on watching till the end and then write the answer of that question in the comment box. Now divisibility by 2. Numbers that end with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. End with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 are all divisible by 2. Let us take example 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 2. Whatever the number may be, you have to be only focused on the last digit or the digit written at unit place, you can say. Once place. This is the unit place. 2. So it is divisible by 2. It's not only 2. If, if the unit digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, the number is divisible by 2. See the second part. What is the digit written there? The last digit or the unit digit is 3. So the given number is not divisible by 2. Let us see the divisibility by 5. This is also done by seeing the unit digit only. Numbers that end with 0 and 5 are divisible by 5. Now let us see the first example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. What is the unit digit? 5. So it should be either 0 or 5. Had it been 0 also it is divisible. But see the second number. 9,35,558. We uh, Any number can be there. Beta, bigger number, smaller. We have to be only focused on the unit digit. That is 8. Which is not 0 or 5. Neither 0 nor 5. So this number is not divisible by 5. What is the important? Either it should be 0 or it should be 5. The unit digit. Then only the number is divisible by 5. Let us see the divisibility by 10. That is also done by seeing the unit digit only. Numbers that end in 0 are, are divisible by 10. The last digit should be what? 0. Let us see the example here. The first example ends in 1. So this number is not divisible by 10. Not divisible by 10. And this number is having 0. So this number is divisible by 10. That 4 lakh 97,990. Now let us check the divisibility of 3, 1, 4, 9, 2, 5. Fastly by 2, 5 and 10. The first one by 2. So the number written at the unit place is what? 5. So is this number divisible by 2? So it is not divisible by 2. Because the number is 5. It should be either 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now is this number divisible by 5? Yes. The number is divisible by 5. Why? Because the unit digit is what? 5. So it, it should be the 0 or 5 for the divisibility of 5. And is this number divisible by 10? It is not divisible by 10 because the unit digit is not, is not 0. Had it been 0, this would have been the divisible by 10. So this is how we check the divisibility of 2, 5 and 10. For 2 it should be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 the unit digit. For 5, it should be 0 or 5. And for divisibility by 10, it should be either uh, only 0. The next is divisibility by 3. Now, this is a little bit different than 2, 5, 10. For divisibility by 3, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. Now, let us see the first example. 31,569, you can see at the first example. We add up all the digits. CKC 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9. When you add all this, it comes to be what? 24. All digits there. Now 24, we divide by which number? 3. And 3 8s are 24. 0 is the what? Remainder. So this number is divisible by 3. But if you see the second number, 9, 3, 8, 5, we add all the numbers. 9 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5. We are adding getting what? 25. And then we are dividing 25 by 3. If you divide 25 divided by 3, 3 eights are 24. What is the remainder? 1 is the remainder. And what should be the remainder? It should be 0 actually. So the given number is not divisible by 3. Now if you see the next one, divisibility by 9 and 3 resemble. 
resemble in the sense there also we add the sum of digits and find out whether it is divisible or not so a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 9 so let us see the first example 31,569 we add all 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9 is equal to what 24 now we divide this 24 by 9 9 twos are 18 so 18 from 18 we count for 24 19 20 21 22 23 24 so there are 6 is the remainder if you subtract 24 minus 18, you will get 6 as the remainder. Remainder should be what? 0. Exactly divisible it should be. So, it's not divisible by 9. Let's see the other example. 9 plus 6 plus 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3. When you add, we are getting what? 27. Now, we divide 27 by 9. 9 3 is a 27. So, the given number is what? Divisible by 9. So, for 3 and 9, how do we check the divisibility? We add the sum of digits. And then if it is to be divisible by, we have to check the divisibility by 3. Then what do we do? We divide the sum by 3. And if it is to be divisible by 9, so we divide the number by 9. Like in this example, you can see the first example, 3, 1, 5, 6, 9. The sum is 24. That means this number is divisible by 3. This number, the first number... This number is divisible by 3. It is divisible by 3. Divisible by 3. But it is not divisible by 4. Not by 9. Not by 9. So this is how we check the divisibility by 3 and 9. Now let us see divisibility by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits of the number are divisible by 4 or there are two consecutive zeros at the end. Like if you see this number, the first number, the last two digits are what? 24. So 24, if you divide by 6, it's exactly divisible. 0 is the remainder, so the given number is divisible. If you see the second number, 9, 8, 2, 3, 4, 2, the last two digits are what? 42. So we divide 42 by 4. But when you divide 42 by 4, you are getting a remainder of 2. And that is why the number is not divisible by now the next one, uh, one more is given that two consecutive zeros. Suppose you take a number 1700. Fine. Now is this number divisible by 4? Yes, it is divisible by 4 because there the last two digits are what? Two zeros. Two consecutive zeros also tell that the number is divisible by 4. Now the next one, a number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits are divisible by 8. 8 or there are 3 consecutive zeros. For 4 we have 2, for 8 we have 3 consecutive zeros at the end. Let us see 9, 3, 1, 8, 2, 4. If you divide 8 to 4, if you divide 8 to 4 by 8, you can see there 8 ones are 0, 3, the remainder is what? 0. So this number is divisible by 8. But if you see the next next question, 378. Now the last three digits are what? 738. If you divide it, you are getting 2 as the remainder. So this number is not divisible by 8. Let us see one more example. Three consecutive zeros. Three consecutive means one after the other at the end. So 0, 0, 0, 17,000. You can see here since there are three zeros, the number is divisible by 8. You can means I have shown it by division also. So the number is divis divisible by 8 when there, there are 3 consecutive zeros at the end of the number. So this is divisibility by 8. For 4 we see the last 2 digits and for 8 we see the last 3 digits whether they are divisible by 8 or there should be 3 consecutive zeros for 8. Now divisibility by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if the div it is divisible by 2 as well as 3. The number should be divisible. Uh, mm, mm, fill the divisibility test of 2 also and 3 also. So 2, 3, 1, 2, 4. Let us see this number. 3, 1, 2, 4. The unit digit is what? 4. So the number is divisible by 2. But for divisibility by 3, how do we check the divisibility by 3? We add up the digits. So 3 plus 1 plus 2, plus 4, and we get 10. Then we divide 10 by 3, we are getting a remainder of 3 here. So therefore, the given number is not divisible by 3, 
and hence the given number is not divisible by 6 also when it is divisible by like suppose I write a number uh, 3 2 4 3 see this 3 the number is not divisible by 2 because the unit digit is neither 0 2 4 6 8 none of them so this number is not divisible by 2 so the number is not divisible by 6 also we can decide then and there only even if it is not divisible by 3 or by 2 any one either one of them the number is not divisible by 6 it should satisfy the divisibility condition of 2 as well as 3 now let us ask let me ask you a question check the divisibility of 3184 by 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 which I have just told you how to check it and write in the comment box so that I can understand whether you have understood in the con the concept of divisibility or not thank you for watching